Take a look at that little chunk on that nice looking square bill. I hear knocking, I know there's no one there Paranoid, sleeping pills kicking It creeps in, into my skin I'd like to think we were meant for a little more I'd like to know what the hell I'm living for 50 years with the woman that I adore In the thick of it, guys. Heck yeah. Come here, boy. That was stupid. I should not have grabbed the line like that, but I'm didn't want him to kick off before I got him. So last time I was here, y'all remember I was throwing the sleeper gill in the thick of this stuff. Well, I think I've been sleeping on the dark sleeper, guys. Cause it's got a good BFS application for the same thing. I just threw it back in there, in the shade. There he was, dark sleeper fish. That's number nine. Let's see a little guy. We got water temps anywhere from 68 to 72, depending on your, depending on where you're at on the lake. There's another one. There's another one. Not too far off where we just caught that last one. Right by that brush, golly. Come on up. Let's see ya. He's not near as big as some of the other ones, but nonetheless, just as fun. Popped it. He was deeper, he was in like eight to 10 feet of water. You kind of casting it by the brush and stop and go in it, working it like a jig just a little bit. I mean, I'm fishing it kind of like a jig around this cover, so. That's the 10th one for us. Got another one. Man, they are on this thing. Look at him in clear water, that is awesome. Look at that. Well, that's what I get for being stupid, but there's number 11. They're killing this thing. Dude, and I can cast it so far. I'm thinking this, these are a quarter ounce. These little two uh, 0.4 inch dark sleepers. I can cast it so far, real far. Here, take my word for it, watch this. Into the wind. <laughs> that seriously was like 40 yards <laughs> oh man the bad part is when you make a long cast like that around cover you're bound to get hung on something oh that was a big one hell yeah that, a big old bass just swirled right by that stick Oh, there he was. That's the one. Yeah, buddy. That was the one that came up and ate something off the top. Same one. That's a that's the biggest one we got on the dark sleeper yet, y'all. Let's go. Here's where a net would be really handy. Look at that. Down the hatch. God, right on the roof of his mouth. He bit it, the cast right before that, he went right back for it. 
that's number 12. We're gonna count the one that I was fooling around with that I was trying to get the shot in clear water with because I would have lift him, but he ended up getting off. But that's a dozen, that's a dozen for us. He's got bug eyes. He might be a bigger fish someday, who knows? Oh, come on, you sissy. I can't believe you don't like fish. You sissy. Y'all catching catfish? Yeah. Nice. You just have one? Yeah, I got one on there. Grab us get this one. Yeah, I, I'm throwing real little stuff. I've caught a bunch, but nothing big. Yeah. That's you got nice. channel cat? Still find the cat. Yeah, channel cat. Heck yeah. This looks, that looks like dinner right there. How much longer are you going to be fishing? Uh, it, I'll, call, I'll try to be home before rush hour. Oh my gosh. I got one. You're literally on the phone with me. I got one. Okay, yeah. well, make sure you give Oakley a pee break. I, she's fine. I, I've, I've let her off. Be on the boat for 10 hours I know. Break. I've let her off once already. I literally caught a fish as I was talking to you. Got another one in the brush as I was talking to my wife on the phone. Good news, bad news. I flirted with disaster. I did get broke off uh, one time over there, right by a couple of folks. So I lost the bluegill colored dark sleeper, but I got a clear one with a yellow stripe on it. And I've gotten bit twice on it again. So I think it's just the, the profile and the action of the bait. As long as it's not super, super dark or, or opaque, I think we're good. There's another one. That's 13. That fish that broke me off, he just, I hooked it right by a limb. He wasn't even that big, but he wrapped the line around the limb. Like I had the fish pull the line against the brush and I've still been fine. That, that, uh, that line's pretty abrasion resistant, but when he wrapped it around there and, and, and the tension, I tried to keep tension on it. I didn't, uh, so the, the rod wasn't able to give with the line. Um, and he broke me off, but. Got some redemption there. That was a good fish. Yeah, he wanted to get down in that brush. Yes, he did. But you shall not. Had one get off there just a little while ago. There's number 14. He hit something on the surface right by that, that brush. And I cast it at him. And he hit it, 14. get that fish out of that situation I got my boat stuck 
like in between two limbs back here. I'm trying to rock it loose and this one picks it up. So I set the hook and he takes me all over the place, takes me into some brush, takes me under some sticks. Good night. This is my third dark sleeper. I've been, I've been getting them uh, snagged on, on the bottom and I've lost, I lost the other one, but it doesn't seem to matter on the color much. It's just kind of the profile, I think. So we've got them on eight pound test, six pound test, and now four pound test. Finally got one on the on the Jackson Egu jig. One sixteenth ounce, two inch swim bait trailer on it. He fought hard. He gave me everything he had. Felt like a five pounder on four pound test. Pretty fun. Way to do. Fine. You can stay away from all that brush, man. On the four pound floor, guys. Wow. He's having his way with me. Having his way big time with me. Holy cow. This is the biggest fish of the day, and it's the last fish. It's like 2.20 in the afternoon, guys. Oh, what a stout football that thing is. What a football that thing is. Wow. <laughs> Jackson Egu, 1 16th ounce jig down the gullet. So much fun. That's probably the biggest fish we caught today. Yeah, if y'all have any questions about these setups or, or, or you know, kind of what I'm doing with this stuff, leave a comment. Let me know what y'all like about it. Anything I could do better. He's got to be tired. Got to be tired. Yep. <laughs> Later. Got another one. <laughs> Should have had the chess game on for this guy, man. He just gave us a show. He went out of the air like three times. Not very big, but he's funky. Yeah, so I lied. <laughs> I had a little more bank to fish, so I kept throwing, throwing, and caught another one. I think, I think the moral of this trip is I've been, I've been sleeping on that dark sleeper slim bait. Honestly, like that thing is versatile, and it's got some ability to draw some bigger fish. And I can cast that thing a mile, so I could cover water with it. I can work it like a jig. It does pretty good around cover. It gets hung up every now and then. These finesse jigs, man, wow, are killers. I mean, this fish isn't very big, but just drawing bites. I mean, it doesn't look like it, guys, but it's it, it would be a fairly tough day on, on any other body of water. It just rained four inches yesterday, and this is like completely post-frontal conditions. Bluebird skies, no wind. Um, and the water temp here is is more of like a, a post spawn. Fry are everywhere, all over this place. So they've already spawned. All of these bass I'm catching are post spawn bass. Um, that is probably gonna be the buzzer beater fish, y'all. All right, take it easy, little guy.